and welcome back to my channel. This is Kendra and I'm excited to share 31 cards that I made using the Pink and Main All Occasion Crafty Courtyard Kit. Now this is from January of 2021 and it's kind of taken me a while to get through making all of these cards but I did use these in developing Kendra's Card Challenge 2 which I'll talk about later. But the first set of cards I made were basically Mother's Day cards and then the second set were all occasion using the crafty courtyard kit that you see here so this is the stamp set it's got all of the different all occasion sentiments on it sending hugs congratulations hello there thinking of you wishing you well and i did use a lot of these stamps on the second set which i'll share here in just a little bit the kit also comes with the all occasion florals paper pad these are the matching dies so it has the words hello and thanks this is the embossing folder where you can emboss wide stripes and then it also has the stencil and it includes the matching sequins and then these cardstocks here different colored cardstock papers i did pull out some matching colored cardstock from my own stash and these are mostly stampin up i use so saffron mango melody lemon lime twist mint macaron and then the pink here is from mft stamps it's called ripe raspberry so let me go ahead and show you the paper pad so the pink and main paper pads have 24 sheets and there are two of each design and what i like about this one is that there's florals on one side and then either stripes on the other or polka dots so what i'm doing here is just trying to sort through and decide which ones I'm going to use together because they all coordinate and then that way I'll be able to have my six sheets that I need for Kendra's card challenge to be able to use the cutting templates. The cutting templates are provided for free on my website in a free PDF and it also includes the card sketches which are a guide to tell you which pieces of paper go with what card and I'll show you that here in just a moment but what I'm doing here is I'm just sorting through and pulling out all of the ones with the polka dots and this will be my first set that I'll um, make cards with and and then I will be using the ones with the stripes for my second set so here I'm just making sure that I have six sheets I actually grab one too many so let's go ahead and get started so as you can see, I've got all of the florals here and um, these other two sheets I'll use for the second set. But these back sides are all polka dots and I've, I'm using my own cardstock for this first set. These are the ones that I'm using to make the Mother's Day cards. Now this is a printout of Kendra's Card Challenge 2 and this has the cutting templates and it shows you exactly where to cut on each of the sheets. And the main thing you'll want to just kind of pay attention to is you want to cut the longest piece first. Now here are all of the card sketches. There are a total of 14 sketches for this challenge where you can make 15 cards. And this one here on the top left, you'll actually end up with two cards after you make your cuts. So rather than showing you the entire process like I have done in the past with my other videos, I will just link that cutting the one where I did all of the cutting and sorting and everything, I'll link that in up above and in my description box. So I went ahead and cut down each of the pattern papers using those cutting templates. And I also cut the layers from the colored cardstock and I have sorted them into the cellophane sleeves by the card number or the card sketch number. And so now they're all ready to be put together. Now I knew I was gonna be doing some traveling for my anniversary and I like to do this in the car, um, but these are all of the scraps that I have left over, which I will use for my second set of cards, which I'll show, here, show you here shortly. Now I have shown this Zutter Cutter in my previous videos, but in case you've never seen it, this is probably one of my most favorite things that I have in my craft room. I can easily cut a whole bunch of card bases quickly. It allows you to put in cardstock sheets up to 12 by 12, and you can adjust those little black things to make make it smaller. So for my eight and a half by 11, I can cut them either the long ways or in half. And here I'm just using my scoreboard to score both portrait and landscape A2 size cards. And I like to use the corner of the scoreboard to push 
the edges up into before I burnish the edge just so that they, they line up correctly. Now for card sketches number 10, 13, and I guess 15 is what we'll call it because it's the same as, it's, it's using card sketch number 13, but it makes two cards. Those call for scalloped circles or circles. And so here I'm just using some different options that I have. I do have a paper punch and then I also have some circle metal dies and I'm just trying to figure out which ones I wanna use. But other than these three card sketches, the other card sketches were basically done using just my paper trimmer. So you don't have to have a lot of fancy supplies to be able to create the cards for this challenge. Now I do have some additional dies that I'm using for these Mother's Day cards. And I'm gonna be putting some double-sided adhesive. This is a roll of tape from scrapbook.com and it's two inches. And what this will allow me to do is whenever I cut out the pieces, I um, don't have to worry about trying to get the glue on the back of those really small letters. So the, the M and the O are from MFT Stamps. That's the Impact Alphabet dies. And then I also have another die set here from Dress My Craft. This is called um, Best Mom in the World. And so I'm just cutting these out from all of the layered pieces that aren't gonna show. Basically, you're just gonna see the edges of all of these pieces that I'm cutting here. So they'll be hidden by pattern paper. And this is what I like to do. I don't want to really wanna call it cheating, but it is a way to save paper and make the most use of your cardstock. Now I did end up using a piece of cardstock from the Crafty Courtyard Kit for one of these Mother's Day cards. I used the polka dot piece by Basil. And um, here I'm <laughs> dropping things, but what I, I'm trying to find some additional Mother's Day sentiments. I found this die that came in a set. It had a bunch of different sentiments in it. And this one says, Happy Mother's Day, and it has the shadow. And so again, I'm just cutting these from those layered pieces that you won't see. Now I will list all of the products that I'm using to make today's cards in the description box below. I have these flower dies here as well as some leaf dies and I'll be cutting these out of some of the scraps that I had from before and some additional layered pieces. Now I will go ahead and share with you how to put together card sketch number 14 because it does have all of these little pieces. But I'm gonna take that white piece there in the center and I'm gonna go ahead and stamp my image on there first. I'm using a stamp set from Honey Bee Stamps. And this is my first time using it, so I'm trying to get some of that stickiness away. I've placed this here in my Misty Stamping platform, and I'm using some Mango Melody ink from Stampin' Up. And I've inked up the stamp, and this will allow me to apply several coats just to make sure that I have a good, solid image. So now that I have my image stamped, I'm gonna go ahead and glue down my layers. I used that purple sheet that came in the kit it's kind of got a little shiny texture to it. And then I glued the square of the lemon lime twist down. And before gluing down the Happy Mother's Day sentiment, I'm gonna go ahead and put these little strips of the polka dot pattern paper. I know it's kind of hard to see on the video here, but there are little tiny white polka dots on each of these little colorful strips. And so I liked, I like to try to line things up and it's best to use a T ruler if you have one. Um, I did figure that out after I glued some of the pieces down. I'm like, wait a minute, these need to match up. So the T-Ruler did help me to match up those bottom pieces because you really want it to look like it's one long strip. This is kind of like cheating here again, but um, it ends up making a really cute card, I think. So now that I have all of those pieces glued down, I'm gonna glue down my piece with, um, I wanna use some 3D foam. I think this is a called Fun Foam and it only has adhesive on one side. So I'm using some art glitter glue to glue that down. And then to finish off this card, I'm gonna add a flower that I also cut out of that purple paper. And I'm using my paper piercer just to kind of curl the edges of the petals. At first I thought I was gonna layer up the flower, but the other flower was too big. So I just decided to stick with the one. And then I'm gonna be using those glitter enamel dots that that also come in the kit. I'm not sure what happened, why I didn't show that at the beginning, but these also come in the kit. I uh, added that to the center of the flower and then added three in a row in the top right hand corner. I also added some matching dots to those pattern paper pieces. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you all of the finished cards that I made for Mother's Day. I'll do this first before moving on to my second set. 
this is card sketch number one and you'll notice that I am putting the card sketch image on the screen so you can kind of see what I did with it these strips here I didn't add any layering to them but you could if you wanted to this is card sketch number three and again here I didn't layer that big piece but I did layer the square and I used some enamel dots to decorate most of these. This is card sketch number four. And this is where I used those impact alphabet dies from MFT stamps and a happy Mother's Day stamp that I'm not sure where I got. This one, I decided to leave that gray piece off because I didn't have enough room to put the best mom in the world sentiment on there. So I just left it off. This is seven, I believe. <laughs> and I had, had to change the orientation on this one just to make it look right. And then this is number eight, I believe. This is probably one of my favorites. I just love these flowers. The um, flowers with the buttons on them, I've had in my stash for a really long time, but I think they, they work really well for these cards. This is number nine. And here I didn't um, use that little white sentiment strip that's on the card sketch, just because it didn't go. I already had the sentiment best mom in the world. Now this is card sketch number nine, my bad. This is another one of my favorites. I always love the little squares and I added some baker's twine on there. This is card sketch number 10. And when you're putting this one together, you will need to cut out a little square piece so that whenever you're layering those two squares together, they're not lumpy. This is card sketch number 11. And then, and then again, I had to turn this one from landscape to portrait and I used the To My Wonderful Wife die, uh, metal dies to cut out the sentiment there. This is number 11. And I ended up not using the sentiment strip piece that's on the sketch. I'm sorry, I'm off on my numbering, guys. Whatever this is, this is number 13, and this makes two cards. So I've got the one here, um, and it's too small for me to read because I do all of my recording on my phone. <laughs> and then this is card sketch number 14, which you've already seen. And then this is the second card that I made using card sketch 13. Here are all 15 of the Mother's Day cards that I made using the, those first six sheets of pattern paper from the All Occasion Kit. Now I'm gonna show you the second set of cards that I made. And this is mainly using the stamps and the dies and things from the kit. Now, of course, I did add some flowers to it, but I'm showing you a, a picture of the card sketch as well as a picture of the finished card. And so that way you can kind of see the different components that make up the card and what I did for each of those pieces. This is card sketch number two. This is card sketch number three here. And I used some white glitter paper to cut out the flowers here. And I stamped the hello there stamp directly on the card base. And I added some scrap pieces to the back of that square just so that it will lay flat when I glue it down. This is card sketch number four. And this one I did have to turn portrait. Um, I wasn't really crazy about putting that thinking of you the other way and so I just decided to turn it it made it look much better and then I added a flower and some baker's twine to that this is the next one and again here I didn't use that gray strip because it, I, it didn't leave me enough room for my sentiment but I just love those stripes here I stamped the sending hugs directly on the card base and I layered up my petals on my flower the same colors that are used in that pattern paper so this one I believe is card sketch number seven or eight. I'm not sure I'll have it on the screen for you, but this, this was another one of my favorites, wishing you well. And then here again, I didn't end up using that pink piece there. I thought it took away from the card. So I'll just leave this one as an all occasion card and maybe add a sentiment later once I figure out what I'll use it for. But I thought that this turned out really pretty. I did use the embossing folder on that mint macaron piece that was used for the background. This is card sketch number nine, I believe. And this is where I used those squares and I added some, um, some bling to that as well as some baker's twine. This is number 10. And as you can see here, this is where you have to cut out that little piece that I had mentioned earlier so that these will lay flat. So when you're building up your layers, you don't wanna have a bunch of lumps. And so for this one, I added, um, a flower there in the center of that circle and um, the sentiment just a note this is number 11 and this is where i used the thanks and that die from the all occasion die set and i added a couple of enamel dots to finish that one off 
I believe we're on card sketch number 12. It's hard for me to see, but I think that's what number we're on. And I actually ended up making two cards with, um, with this sketch. I messed up on one of the cutting. Whenever I was using the cutting templates, I accidentally cut something wrong. So I ended up having to use another sheet out of the kit. And so that's why you see me trying to put together two cards here. So mistakes do happen, but it's okay. You can just use those pieces to make more cards. Okay, so we're getting down to the last few card sketches. This is number 13. Now I used the stamp set that says nothing changes the day like a smile. And I stamped it with some colored ink first. And then I added some Versamark ink on top of that and some clear embossing powder. And so I heat set and heat embossed for both of the cards that I made using card sketch 13. Now this is card sketch 14 and I'm sorry, my hair gets in the way. I have it in a bun on the top of my head, so it looks a little crazy. But I stamped the congratulations using some different colored inks to make it look like a rainbow ombre. And then this of course is card number 15 using that card sketch 13. And these are all of the all occasion cards, all 16 of them that I made using Kendra's card challenge too. I will link above a video for more instructions on how to use the cutting templates. When I introduced the challenge back in April, I'll link that above here. You have until June 30th to enter the contest if you'd like. More information can be found on my website at cardsbykendra.com and I'll link that in the description box below. I hope you've enjoyed this video. You'll have to let me know which card was your favorite in the comments below. Give me a big thumbs up and also don't forget you can find more card making inspiration on my Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest pages. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful Mother's Day.